In this video, I'll show you three ways to zoom in Premiere Pro. Hi everyone, I'm the web guru. I do tutorials on audio, video, photography. So uh, make sure to like and subscribe. And here inside of Premiere Pro, I have a shot of a wolf. It's kind of a wide shot and I'd like to see the wolf a little bit better. So I'm going to turn it into a close up. So I'm going to select the clip in the timeline and then go up to the Effect Controls panel. If you can't see it, just go to Window, Effect Controls. And then I'm going to adjust the scale. So I'm going to increase this value. Um, and then if you want to, you can also adjust the position values to kind of uh, recompose the shot however you want. And now I've converted it from a wide shot to a close up. Now there's nothing actually changing inside of the shot. I've just basically recomposed it. Um, so that's one of the easier things that you can do. Let me show you another uh, variation. Let's say you wanted to start off with a wide shot and then cut to a close up. So what you can do is take the uh, razor tool and then split the clip and then go back to the selection tool. Now the first shot I'm not going to change because that's going to be a wide shot. But then I'll click on the second shot here and then I'm going to go up to the effect controls panel and I'm going to change the scale and the position uh, the same way I did before. So I'm going to recompose the shot and now basically I'm going from a wide shot and then I'm going to cut to a close up. So this can be very useful in uh, interviews or live performances where you just want to cut to the close up. Now the last example I'm going to show you is a smooth zoom. Let's say you wanted to start off with the wide shot and then smoothly zoom into a close up. So select the clip in the timeline, then we'll go up to the effect controls panel and we're going to create some keyframes. So right next to the word position and scale, you can click on the toggle animation button. It looks like a little stopwatch. This is going to create two keyframes. These are the starting keyframes. Then I'm going to go a couple seconds later in time, and then I'm going to adjust the scale and the position as I did previously, and it'll create two more keyframes now the difference here is that I have a smooth zoom, like that. Now if you want it to be even smoother, you can select the first keyframes, right click, temporal interpolation, ease out. Then I'll select the second keyframes, right click, temporal interpolation, ease in. And now you can see that it's going to be a little bit smoother. Like that. If you want the zoom to be faster, then move the keyframes closer together. This is going to be a pretty quick zoom. If you want it to be a slow zoom, then you can move the keyframes further apart. And now it'll be a little bit more gradual, like that. And that's it. So that's pretty much three techniques. And by the way, you can also do this with still images in the same manner. So hopefully that was helpful to you. Uh, let me know in the comments or if you have any questions. I'll be doing a lot more videos like this, so be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, keep learning and growing.